Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. Uh, it has been a few days. It has actually been, I think, about three days since I have recorded with Silverius. Now, I've still been playing. I have played at least a little bit every day on different characters, just in the early game, just because I wanted to kind of play more casually. Um, but I haven't touched them in a while, so it actually took me a moment to catch up and find out what it is we were doing. We had just gotten the Great Rune. We had ascended into the Limgrave Tower, the Divine Tower of Limgrave, and we have restored power to Godric's Great Rune. And then I ran around for a few minutes trying to figure out how to equip it. And well, then I found out that all I need to do is go to a Site of Grace. And now I have a new menu item, which is the Great Runes. With the Great Rune menu, you can equip Great Runes that have had their power restored. You can use a Rune Arc to give even greater benefits to your equipped Great Runes. Interesting indeed. So, this one raises all attributes. So if I... You know what? I wish I could see my screen to see... Let's see. Well, here are my stats. I was going to show off my stats anyway. So, I am level 45. Hmm. So, 21, 20, 10, 11. 21... Ugh. Nope. Sorry. D, I didn't mean to talk to you. Although, we will be talking to you in a moment because I actually... I think I want to pick up some of your incantation. So can I unequip that? Yes, I can. 21, 20, 10, and 11. What is it doing? That menu made it sound like I would get the benefit of this great rune. Right. And then if I use a rune arc, I would get even more. But my stats appear to be the same. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, how many rune arcs do I have? I found that you can actually get them from rats. I don't know if they're farmable or if they're guaranteed drops, but I have six of them, I think. Just for argument's sake, I am going to use one. I just want to see exactly what it does. So, let's, um, oops, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, wow. Was that five across the board? I think that was five across the board. That's pretty, pretty big deal. Now, I don't know how long that lasts. What is that meter? I don't know. I don't know how long it lasts. I should probably have timed it. Hmm, very interesting. But at the same time, there's also something else that uh, you've all told me in the comments, and that is... Fia, wonderful, sweet, wholesome Fia, is taking 5% of my HP every time she holds me. And the only way to get rid of it is then to use the blessing that she gave you. So that's Baldekin's blessing. Um, I don't actually see myself really using poise that much. So yeah, I think um, maybe once this wears off, I'll get my HP back. Although I'm up to 700. Oh, I'm at 791 because of the uh, the rune arc. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so what are we going to do today? I don't know yet. Um, first, we're going to probably change things around. I want to actually look at incantations, even though this isn't a faith build. Oh, something else. Um, I was not recording, and I was kind of getting this build ready, and I found... Where is he? Right here. Uh, Rajay has joined us. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ooh. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, I've defeated Godric about the corpse under Stormvale. What corpse under Stormvale? I don't actually know what corpse he's referring to. And then about the... All right. Well, uh, I've defeated Godric. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. And we get... Wow. Okay. Roger's Rapier plus eight. Should be a dex weapon, and I do want to level some dex, so that might actually be our new go-to. I've been using the straight sword for so long... It'll be weird to use something else. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. 
What about this corpse under Stormvale? The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives Plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the golden age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Maleketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, you'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. Give the black knife print. Okay, hold on. I, I need to remind myself <laughs> of what's going on here because I don't, the black knife print. What? Lost Ashes of War. I still need to find Bach. Um, what is this black knife? Oh, right here. Oh, yes. Okay, I do remember picking this up. Oh, okay. On the night of the black knife, someone stole a fragment of death from Malak at the black blade and imbued its power into the assassin's daggers, which I've actually been collecting. This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth that the conspiracy. And so what we know from Rajay is that that night is when Godwin was murdered, and that was actually the first recorded demigod death. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's oh. give him that. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City, a group entirely of women arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Interesting. Well, I don't think D really has to do with the Black Knives, but he is interested in uh, those who live in death, and I wonder what Rajay has to say about D. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Uh, what do you mean, never again to cross? He's in the other room. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Okay, and then he just has the same old skills. All right. Interesting. Um, it's kind of starting to sound like a trip back to Stormvale is in order. I know that I hadn't explored every nook and cranny there, but I don't think I really fully understood just how much maybe I haven't seen if there's a some sort of corpse underneath that's all twisted and infused with death. Uh, D, what do you have to say? Ah, oh, hello. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson 
Friend, that's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. Is... Is that what it means to be someone who lives in death? Is it just someone who is just fascinated by death? I wonder if he has anything else to oh. say. No. Okay. Right. So we do have some runes. I have about 10,000 here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. My runes are, or my stats are still elevated. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second. When I used a great rune or a rune arc before to raise my HP, it lasted until death. Is that the case now? Oh my gosh, do I have a permanent plus five across the board? Oh, that opens up some possibilities. What do I have for talismans? Right now I have, so I have the Two Fingers Heirloom and the Mar uh, Marika Scar Seal to raise my, my faith. That's up to 23 now, but my Arcane is up to 18, which that means a couple things. All right, we're gonna theory craft a little bit right on the fly here. So we're going to, I've already actually unequipped all my spells, so I can now use the bubbles, both of them. I can use both of these. I don't know if it's any good, but I'm curious. So we're going to, we're going to play around with bubbles. <laughs> Sounds weird to say. Um, let's see. Still can't use any of those. I could use bestial sling. I could use blood flame blade, which that could be really cool on the rapier potentially right it could be let's um let's try it why not and then let's see do we want litany of proper death creates image of order to deal holy damage or orders blade so this i think is that sign on the ground that deals constant holy damage and then this is just a weapon buff i already have one of those so let's buy litany of proper death and also brother corin what do you have again anything else i really want to play with Ooh, darkness. I think darkness. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I've been wanting darkness. Okay. May the gold. So, oh boy. This is uh this is getting interesting. It's going to get dangerous is what it's going to get. So, we're going to put on darkness. Um Tell you what, let's get rid of the small bubbles. We'll just use the big ones and I want to use the litany of proper death. There we go. And is there anything else? I want to do. Let's take a look and see. Nefeli is not here. We know that. Let's go to the blacksmith. I know I spent 12 minutes just in round table hold, but eventually we're going to be making our way back to Stormvale. That's the plan, at least. Well, I took you for no matter. You don't have anything to say yet, right? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, I should be upgrading my hornbow, and that just takes some standard ones as well, which is cool. What about Rajay's rapier? That's probably going to be somber, right? <gasps> Wait a minute. I could be using the regalia of Eocade. <gasps> because now I have the arcane to use it. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Do we want it? Kind of. Oh, by the way, I need to talk about uh, Reduvia. Eagle Eye commenter, and I'm sorry I didn't actually write your name down. Uh, asked me, why doesn't my Reduvia have an arcane requirement? And they said, mine requires 13. And I went and I checked, and sure enough, mine did not. It was zero. I then started a new character. I ran to get Reduvia. Same thing, zero requirement. Then, someone in Discord, which, by the way, you should join the Discord, did some super sleuthing on Reddit and found out that if you play offline exclusively, you never sign into the servers, Reduvia doesn't have an arcane requirement. It is zero. As soon as you sign into the servers, it updates it. It's some sort of stealth patch. I don't know how it works. I'm not that kind of tech guru. And suddenly there's an arcane requirement. So I tried that. I went online on the other character. It updated the Reduvia. And now even on this character, it is now uh, it is now required. So if I drop back down to my base of 10, I'm not going to be able to use Reduvia. Um, so, oh, Rajay's rapier actually is just standard smithing stones as well. But we may not need to worry about that just yet. Uh, so, let's not worry about Rajay's. I do have a decent amount of smithing stone level 1s. I think we'll do the hornbow. In fact, we're going to bring this up as much as we can. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I've been having a lot of fun with that bow. Um, 
But I'm also curious about this. Okay, so up to level two there. I think we'll try and play around that. We just have to worry about my weight. Uh, by the way, as far as gear, I did off screen, I did a little bit. So the Crimson Hood. So this is Roderica's old hood. This is giving me some extra vigor. Uh, Astrologer set. Uh, I chose this because it's light, but also it has some pose, uh, poise, which is interesting. I, again, don't know if this is going to make a lick of difference. So now we actually are going to go to Roger's Rapier with Glintblade uh, Phalanx. I don't know if I can change that Ash of War. We will try that, though. How much is that weigh? That weighs only 3.5 compared to the 3.5. Okay. <laughs> so I can't really hold anything else yet because I am, I think, just on the cusp of being heavy, right? Actually, no, not quite. So, okay, things are getting spicy here. We got the regalia, and then we have the hornbow, plus five. Uh, in terms of arrows, I have some dwelling arrows. And do we wanna do shatter shard? No, actually shatter shard could be really cool. Just to try and use those to get some enemies' attentions. Excellent, okay, okay. 16 minutes still here. Uh, we're not done yet. <laughs> not done yet. Um, I do have some turtle meat. We're going to make some pickled turtle meat. We get that stamina regen. I'm going to try and use consumables more often, I promise. What else, though? What else? Uh, we wanted... Oh, I need beast bones to make more magic arrows. So we might have to farm those. But I may actually try some grace mimics inside the castle, see if that helps me out, helps me find any more secrets. And let's see... Oil pot, magic pot, bedded pot. Maybe that's it for now. So I tried this, by the way, the script stone. Um, in thinking that maybe if I use this, it would reveal developer messages when I'm offline. That was my phone falling on the floor. And kind of like the old miracle guidance back in Dark Souls 1. And uh, no, at least it didn't work in my case. In the Black Knight catacombs where I found the one illusory wall so far, uh, this did not make a message appear. I was very disappointed about that. So I'm not going to worry about that one. There was something else I wanted human bone charge for, and that was for the Grace Mimic. So we can make plenty of those if needed. All right, I think that is enough stalling. I think that's enough stalling. Oh, boy. All right, let's see, though. Can we change the Ash of War on this? It has Glint Blade Phalanx, which I haven't tried before, but it looks pretty cool. I can even. Repeating thrust could be really cool. And let's see. Standard. Keen looks to be the best. But I could go magic. Could go magic. That's that I mean though that split damage, that's a lot. Could even go cold, which would be cool. Ooh. Now I don't know. Could do carrying greatsword. Could do gravitas. I like gravitas. I don't think I need gravitas for for a rapier, though. I mean, part of me wants to do the repeating thrusts. No, let's just let's stick with this. Let's stick with this, but let's make it magic. Just because, I mean, you're looking at 259 AR, even split damage. This is only this is only 189. If we see that we're not doing the damage we need... Oh, wait a minute. Do I have any Ashes of War for bows yet? No, I don't. Hmm. We're going to keep it at no skill for now. No skill. Right. So, with about 11 minutes to spare, <laughs> uh, we are going to... We're going to start running through Stormvale again. Now, some of this might lead to absolutely nothing. And um, I'm trying to think if I want to start at... The cliffside or the tower? I think I'm going to start at the Rampart Tower. I think this is where I'm going to start. And we'll see We'll see how this goes. Oh boy, that's a lot. Now, I just, I just fast traveled and all my stats are the same. Holy cow. So as long as, in fact, I'm going to get this off my hotbar so I don't accidentally use it. Uh, and what do we want here? Do we want the wolves? Let's try the Ancestral Follower, actually. Oh, you know what? You know what we haven't done? First off, I don't actually know if I have any golden seeds. <laughs> this is just a preparation video. I apologize. Uh, Flask, do I have... Oh, I need three, by the way. Do I have any sacred tears? No. Nope. Do we want to reallocate five and three? 
yeah, let's do four and four, just because I do plan on using, hopefully, some more FP this time around. Uh, but we are also going to uh, go back to round table hold. I want to try and level up that new ancestral follower because that could be good. That's so many buffs. Not They're not buffs. I understand that it's just a a symptom of having uh, all those extra Greetings. stats. Are you here for spirit, but still, what can I do? Oh, not enough runes. I don't know if I have any runes as I jump for joy. I do. I do, actually. Okay. So that's 800. Okay, this should be another 800. Then a level five. I actually don't know what a level five gets me. Greetings, are you here for spirit? Yes, I am. And that's it. Okay, level two. And that leaves me with 3,000. All right, one last thing <laughs> while we're here. We're not gonna do the halberd. We're not gonna do Godric's halberd. We'll never be able to really use that well, but what about? What about this? 20 strength is feasible. That's only four, well, with my great rune, that's only four more points. Let's let's get it, all right? I'm not saying we're gonna use it. I'm not saying we're not going to. And now, let's head back to Rampart Tower and take a look. I know the courtyard is a big one we need to explore because we didn't, uh, I don't think we fully embraced that. So let's, first off, I'm just gonna, I wanna see here, how much damage does this do? Almost, almost dead. Oh, careful now. Okay, nice little poke there, good. Now, if I do a mighty shot though, that should be a death, right? Easily, 364, ooh. I can actually snipe you right here. I want to cancel that mighty shot. Hopefully he doesn't hit that branch. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love killing those birds any chance I can. Any and every chance I can. Okay, so right away there's an item. <laughs> there's an item right there. Hold on. How do we get to that one? Get the rapier out, which we can poke from behind a shield. That's excellent. Well, that's not where we want to go. Oh, let's go up. Let's go up, see if we can drop down onto that item. Whatever it may be. Come on now. I just want to get backstab on you. Thank you. 488, not too bad. Apologize if you can hear the plane humming in the background. Apparently Saturday is the day to fly. And, do we want to use the bubble? Kinda. Where is the guy who's gonna, you know, blow his horn? He actually doesn't see me, that's fun. He's, he's about to though. Actually, can I get the backstab? Oh, that works. That works out nicely. And then... Let's see how this works. Can we charge it? Yes, this does charge. Go get him, Bubble. Beautiful. Oh! Oh! What? I'm sorry. That was 600 damage to multiple opponents? Okay. Don't be sleeping on the bubble, people. Don't do it. That sounds, uh, that sounds fun. All right. Okay, so far this is, uh, this is working. Now, that item, let me get on these sandbags. Should be right there. Okay, that's easy enough. We just hop here. Also, what's down there? There's some rats down there. We're just gonna follow this around. I remember the one, the one crazy bird. Oh, jeepers. Which I don't, oh, I don't even need to deal with. I can just, 
go here. All right. So what do we got? All right. Hey, two level two smithing stones. That's not bad. Oh, and then that's not where I want to go. All right, just slowly exploring. Uh, we'll probably do a couple. Of, oh, geez, do you really expect me to drop there? Probably gonna do a couple episodes here, I would imagine, in Stormvale exploring, because I think that I've missed probably quite a lot. All right, so now, is there anything over with those rats? Oh, and there's also balcony there with that guy. Hmm. Okay, this is where Rajay was, but. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we sneak. Ready? Bubble time. Go get him. <laughs> you are kidding. That was awesome. Uh, do I want to do a litany? I don't know. I'm trying to... I'm just having fun now. I'm just having a lot of fun. Kind of thinking about what I want to do with this. Uh, try Glint Blade. Awesome. Love it. Okay, poke. There we go. Alright, not... Not this... Torch Pole? You can get their Torch Pole? That's... That's kind of fun. Does it work as a pole arm? It works as like a spear or a pike. Okay. Lights up dark areas, but cannot be raised overhead. See, I will actually probably use this instead of a torch. Because it's actually solid damage. And it'll be the uh, the best of both worlds. That's awesome. Okay, so I don't think I need to explore where Rajay was. Um, let's, go, let's go climb the ladder. Let's go probably deal with the... Come on now. Deal with the courtyard. I also have that one big glowing statue that I need to try and break. Which is for... Oh, I can't get up this way. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Right? Yes. So we go this way. What is this section? Oh my gosh. I mean, there's shinies everywhere. What is that section? How do I get to you? I don't... I don't think I can survive that fall. Ooh. Yeah, look at... Oh, and there's even a scarab down there I can see. So I need to get over... There, maybe? Okay, I do see an enemy over there. I can get there from the courtyard. But I don't think I can jump up. There's a door there. Alright, maybe somewhere from this bird area? I should heal. I should heal. Everyone's yelling at me right now to heal. I'm going to heal. Now, don't forget, there's still one more bird waiting to kill you. Uh, and I think what we'll do is maybe a little glint blade phalanx. Okay, it did something. Not much. Come on now. Wow, who knew that thrusting swords would actually be really effective against flying enemies. That has caught me off guard. Um, illusory wall, maybe? Nope. Uh, do, do, do. Now, I've been here. I This is where I killed the one. Is there anything? Oh, maybe. Oh, definitely. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this goes anywhere. That, that seems really far. Oh, wait. There's a ledge. There's a little uh, ledge. Okay. What have we got? Marred Wooden Shield. Okay, I think I already have one Marred Shield, right? I have the Marred Leather. This is the Marred Wooden. 
Stormvale soldiers, much like the castle, is marred by modeling and thorns. Some say it is the curse of grafting which causes such affliction, while others talk of its roots being something altogether more sinister hidden deep within the castle. Oh, there's some mystery here. But speaking of mystery, um, I'm going to have to leave this a mystery for next time. Hate to do it to you. Oh, what is that? <laughs> okay, I've seen that island actually off in the distance, but how'd you get there? Probably a sending gate. That's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, me exploring and already finding... Oh, and there's more loot over there. Great. <laughs> Find new areas, and we're going to keep doing that next time. But I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.